Haunted elf makeup gets so expensive. $12? Those used to be like $8? I swear those used to be like 5 Look at the brushes. $8. Since when? $15? Like, no. And these are 10 Were those always $10? I don't think so. I don't know. Hi everyone, so I'm about to do a little impromptu CVS haul. I just got my hair cut, not very much, just a trim, and it's all blown out, which I never do myself. And I'm going to Lululemon because I am rewarding myself with my Lululemon Align pants. And I was like, oh, I never put makeup on. And like, not that you need to have makeup on, you absolutely don't. But I just got my hair cut and I want to film at Lululemon my like, I'm actually going to try on a bunch of stuff. And I was like, shoot. So I decided, I was like, oh, I'll go to Sephora. And then I was like, eh, I actually need new mascara. I use the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise. This is like my favorite mascara right now. And honestly, I think it's better than a lot of the stuff at Sephora and it's way cheaper. So I was like, okay, I'll pick up some mascara because at least like then I'll have my eyelashes done. But of course, then I was like, oh, I could kind of go for some more concealer. And while I was in there, I just had like a little mini shopping spree. Um, but I got some good deals. Uh, I did end up spending a little more than I was planning. It was $45. Oops. So, <laughs> um, but so I got basically like a full face of makeup, which I thought would be fun to like see. I got mostly e.l.f. brand and that stuff has gotten expensive. Like what in the world? Um, so I got, I'm going to put on this camo, hydrating camo concealer. I thought this sounded good. I normally use the Maybelline, um, one that has like the little spongy thing on it. Um, I forget what it's called, but I thought this could be interesting. So I got the color light beige. It's looking really light, but I'm, I'm on the lighter side right now. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's really, it's really orange. Look, shoot. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> well, the good thing about CVS is you can return cosmetics. So if you try something there and it doesn't work out. Okay, it also said hydrating, but I'm sorry. I feel like it's pretty, pretty stuck. Like, how does that look? I mean, it blended in, but I just, like, it's definitely not right. Okay. So that's probably going to have to go back. So that was originally $8, and I had, there was 20% off if you added it on your extra care card. So that was, um, came out to, like, six forty, I guess. Um, okay. Well... It's funny because it did blend in, but that was kind of scary. So I actually got two concealers because I had a Revlon coupon for $4 off and then this was $10. So it was like, it came out the same and I couldn't decide between the two. So this is the Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer and it said it had caffeine in it. And I have one that I really like. Oh, this is not, this is not what I was expecting. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Oh goodness. I, it's basically this, they're basically the same color. So this is the color creme brulee. It was like the one that was between medium and light. Okay. I mean, 
the consistency is way, way better. Like, the e.l.f. one was so dry. Yeah. I mean, it blended in really nicely. I don't know how that looks to you all. But just, like, I'm in natural light right now. And that actually looks really good. And it, it felt really good. I mean, this side feels fine. But between the two, I would definitely prefer the Revlon. And especially, like, I have... I'm not, like, old, but, you know... I'm getting a little dry under there. I'm getting, I don't want to say the W-R word, but <laughs> it's not looking as young and supple under there as it could. So, yeah. All right. So next, I got a blending brush, and these have gotten expensive. This was $6, and I think this used to be like 3 and I don't know. I used to always get e.l.f. at Target, so maybe it's just CVS jacked up the price. Oh no, my eyeshadow's broken. Look, the corner. Shoot. Help. That's not going to work. I'm going to go switch it out. Pause. Okay, we are back. The line in there was crazy, but they just let me like swap it. I was gonna return my other concealer, but I'll do that later. So this is called the Bite Size Eyeshadow in Cream and Sugar. I thought it was cute and it has like really easy basic colors. Um, I definitely did not need eyeshadow for this adventure, but I was buying some e.l.f. stuff and I was just like, oh, this could be fun. Okay, so it has this little light color, I feel like you could actually like set your concealer with that. Depending, well, it depends on your skin tone. If you're more of a fair skin tone like me. And then we'll put that. I love this brush. I have, I have one of these already at home, but it feels really nice. So put that all over like a nice little base and then I'm going to go in with that color and I'm using my finger just because I feel like this brush will just like make a total mess of it. Yeah, it's pretty. sparkly colors I feel like your finger is better so kind of like it seems like I need two layers yeah cute all right and then I'll just kind of go like that okay now it has this brown color but I feel like that's so brown but YOLO. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's not even really showing up. Maybe because I'm scared of it? Oh, oh, I just tapped it up there by accident. I don't know. I'm kind of limited because I only have one thing. All right, back to the beigey. Just kind of blend that all around carefully. I mean, it's not bad. It's like a quick, easy. All right. Next. Next, we have brows. This is what got me started on the whole thing. It's called Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Like, I don't know why, but I just saw it and I was like, oh, that's cute. Not cute, but like, oh, I can't get it out. Hold on. Ooh, I hope I don't have to return this because I am making a mess of the packaging. 
but this was only four dollars which that I feel like is normal elf pricing like four bucks that's what you expect to pay for elf brand and I'm not saying like I'm not knocking elf and saying it's not good but like the whole point is it's super affordable okay so it has the spoolie on one end and the little drawer thing on the other which that was also I was like I really thought that was nice I love brushing out my eyebrows <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're going in. Um, the, co <laughs> the color is a little off. I would say it's a little like redder and lighter. I mean, when you brush it through, <laughs> it's not not bad how does it look what do you think <laughs> I don't know let's do we're just we're doing both sides I mean obviously can't just do one I love the idea of it I just don't think it's the right color wonder if there was another color I think this was the dark brown oh shoot remember when I was like I hope I don't have to return this <laughs> <laughs> okay how do they look I don't even know and then I'm just gonna roll it back down because that's scary but I mean I love the the setup like that's amazing okay and then I got my mascara that was <laughs> the one thing I was supposed to be buying was mascara in the blackest black if I were at home I would curl my lashes with an eyelash curler but I don't have one with me and I wasn't gonna buy one because I have good eyelash curlers at home and like that's where I'm drawing the line so okay you know when a mascara is brand new and it's like not as good like, I feel like this is the kind of mascara that a week later, after you open it, it's better. Do you know what I'm saying? better okay all right I did not get like blush or face anything okay and the last thing I got I got two lip products I got, I got lip smackers that was what I was first gonna go with because I thought they sounded sounded yummy Fanta strawberry and Fanta grape um, and these were only 249 so I was like why not and then this e.l.f., this is what I'm going to wear now. It's a lump it, lumping, plumping lip gloss. I originally, I thought this was going to be like $4, but the $4 price tag went with something else. So it was a little bit deceiving. So this was actually $8, which I mean like $8 for a lip gloss, like for an e.l.f. lip gloss. I don't know. Drugstore makeup. It's just so expensive now. I cannot seem to get it open. But hey, e.l.f. is cruelty free. So I do like that. Okay, we're getting there. I'm scared to take the price thing off in case I don't like it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. It's funny. When I was putting it on, I was like, ooh, I don't know about the color. But when I smushed my lips together, then I was like, okay, we're okay. It's a little bit 
like minty. I think that's the plumping. I mean, it was 20% off. So I guess for like six something, now we're talking, but still. Yeah, actually I really like it. I really like how all this came out. <laughs> I wish I had like a little, little blush going on, but it's okay. I like it. Okay, now we're ready for Lululemon. Get excited. We are here at Lululemon to get our line pants. I have my money jar. Is it weird? Like, should I just pay them like this? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Should I? I'm kind of like, I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> Is that so weird? <laughs> then I have to carry this around in there. But like, I don't know. I kind of want to be like, hey, I won this. I didn't win it, if you know what I'm saying. Ugh, I hate the way the sun is shining. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Okay, so <laughs> we're going into Lululemon. We are buying the Align pant that I have been saving up for with my routine of um, every day tracking my food and sticking to my tracked food and all that good stuff. So it was supposed to take me a month. It took me a month and a half, but that's okay. Like, even though obviously it would make for a better story if I like made it in my 30 days or whatever, like that was the plan. Like this is real life. And I took meals off and if I, not a meal off, but you know what I'm saying? Like I ate what I wanted to eat. And if you do that, that's a hundred percent fine, but I'm not going to then like reward myself like I'm not penalizing myself but I'm allowed to have meals outside of my like per personal meal plan that I made for myself like but then like if I'm going outside of that I'm not gonna then be like oh but here's your dollar anyway you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying oh should I bring this in I really want to <laughs> welcome to Welcome to the first Staples that ever existed. Staples number one, which is now apparently a Staples Connect. Shipping back an Amazon item. I have such an issue with cute notebooks. Update, I decided to return the other elf bro thing and the concealer. Oh, it was so bad. But I got a new one and it's the right color. Yay! So, loving this. Oh, it just feels so good to spoolie the brows, you know? Oh, that's so much better though. It's not crazy. Yeah, the other was so red. This is much better, don't you think? Just for the record, I do not get my brows done. I do have a girl that I go see, like, <laughs> twice a year. <laughs> She's wonderful, but I don't know. Ain't nobody got time for that, you know? Uh-oh, uh-oh, Mayday, oh! I just made it so much worse. <laughs> Help. This mascara is still way too liquidy for my liking. I really need it to dry out. Oh, what do I do? It's still there. I'm like trying not to ruin my concealer though. Uh, okay. What a mess. 
And then look, I'll go put more concealer on and it'll be way too much. Boop. Okay. Okay. That is. Okay. I think we're fixed. I mean, there's still a little something there, but I think we're good. And then I have my lip smackers on, but really? I like this lip gloss for six bucks. I feel like this whole little makeup kit that I got myself is kind of awesome. I kind of like it. 